to hand off over tackle. Second and six here. 87 comes wide right. That must be Radzen. Motion to the side. Red green. They give straight ahead. somebody open. And it's uh, Bedard. Yeah, it's Close to the first one. down. It looks like it may it be like the first, the first down. down. Say, yes. the signal is first and ten. Ball spotted on the 46 yard line for the solid night. He turns the corner, bangs into a couple guys, and gets to about the 35 yard line. So the guard, first down, 11 yards on the carry. Starting off. For as he left 10 off at the 35, 11 yard checkup. So Green lines up to the right side here. Just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. I think he might have lost a, a half a yard. Jim not that, get on the clock. That play took a little bit too long. Let's call it second and 11. They might be better off with uh, those quick hitters right to the line. Green in motion. He's rolling. He's looking. He's throwing. making the tackles here and um, I don't really have a roster yet so we'll let you just watch. And not much there. Chris in the carrier picked up short yardage. Let's give him two and call it third and five.
third and five as the play comes in from the sideline. If they can stop him here, they'll force him to punt. Motion. They hand it off. Well, with progress, it looks like it's short. It's short of the first down, but it's going to be close. They're going to have to measure, I think. The referees may take a look at it. It's close. The referees will bring in the chain. The ball is right here as they bring it in. This is HCP Sports coming to you from North Angeles. Schultze Stone manning the flag there for the Tigers, and it is about a foot short. So uh, let's see if they're going to go for it. They're in the game. Straight ahead, and he got the first down. For the first down. He got to his own 40 yard line, pick up a two yards, well, he only needed a foot. They needed the first and ten for the night from their own 40 yard line. Center linebacker shooting in there, just as the snap was taken, but first down for the Scarlet Knights. Somebody open downfield. Set up a screen over here, and it hit the ground. 
Snap, gets it away, end over end, gets a good bounce and goes out of bounds. Ball out of bounds on about the 39 half line. Let's call it the 38. Let's call it the 39. So with 38 seconds remaining. Check that, 34 first, yard line. No score. The trainer down here is checking out this fellow's eyes. I'm not quite sure um, what's going to happen to him. He got hit somewhere. Could be the end of round. Somebody's yelling the end of round. Time out called by the Knights. Called by the Knights, because uh, I don't think they're quite sure how to line up against this play. And, um, I heard, I, they heard the coaching staff on the other side call the end of round. So stay tuned. We'll take a break right here. This is J.C. Kiesberg. Now they come out and they change the play. Going off tackle. So when they, so when the coaching staff on the other side called end of round, uh, the quarterback must have said, hey, we're going to call a timeout and change this play. Carry on me and the carrier. Up, a yard, we'll call it second and nine. They have a wide receiver over here, and then in motion, they send them back up the middle. And that's, that's the end of the, end. the first period. Third and seven. Tigers from their own 31. 
Handoff to Bedard over tackle. Still on his feet. Yeah, Bedard. A nice run around the right side, and he picks up 12 yards in a first down. 12 yards on that scamper by number 41, Matt Bedard. So Bedard with a good running play. Coming to the side, Green cuts back in, runs into a host of tacklers. Signed to 30. Right up the middle. And they stop him. Well, get him up the middle. No game. That's not third and five. Well, 
going to bring up a third and five. Tigers do a pretty good job of uh, defense in that play. Call it a loss of one and third and six. I just send three wide left. And they hand it off straight ahead and no place to go there. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Short gain of a yard and we're back to fourth and five. is running and they're going to call a timeout. Drop in over Scarlet Knights calling their second timeout of the first half. Well, as they group up, Ken Spellman wants to talk with this group over here along with Coach Roach. I don't know if they're going to try a field goal. I think it's into the wind, so I don't, it'll be a long field goal. So... Let's see what they want to do. So stay tuned. This is AC Peaceful back out in the field. Let's see what the Scarlet Knights have uh, devised in the uh, huddle here during timeout. This play might involve a little bit of trickery here. Let's see if they, they send three wide right this side. And they throw it to the right. And uh, they didn't get very far. Jeff Cruz taking a pass on the flat. The Pulls his way close to the first down. Right around the 23 yard line. The refs are going to bring in the chains. That close. I didn't think it was going to be that close, but I guess they are. We're going to bring it in from over there. Go, 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 go. anybody through there quick enough to um, tackle the um, receiver once he got the ball. First and ten, they hand off to 12, he goes off tackle, he's still on his feet. They have Cruz cutting a nice block on that left side. Picked up good yardage, about five, second and five. Second and five. 4.30 remaining in the second quarter.
number 11, Chris Rowan. Incomplete. That sets up fourth and a long two. Fourth and two. We'll see if they're going to go for it. Probably within field goal range, but they're kicking into the wind. It'll probably be like a 32 yard field goal if they try it. 10 yards for the end zone. I think they're going to go for it. Fourth and about two yards. And they used their last timeout, I believe. Knights call their fourth timeout. So as they uh, come over there, Tigers are going to go over and talk over some defense here. In the second quarter, no score. To go for fourth and a long two. Three go wide right. See if the Tigers can stop him here. And where's his momentum taken? Darrell Perry pulls his way after being and hit and it appears that he has the first down. First and ten from just outside the ten. Him right there. So the night can make a first down. Let's call it the 11-yard line, first and 10 from the 11. 3.20 to go. Uh, ball sitting right outside Check the pen. Check that, it was Mark And they're going to call their last timeout. This team is not going to... North Andover calls timeout. And uh, we're going to give you a shot of the moon over here. Both. A full moon tonight. Looks like there might be a little blue haze around that moon. Once in a blue moon. I don't know if that's when that's coming up. But, uh, it is a full moon, and uh, maybe that's why these uh, fans over here to our right, left over here are getting a little bit rowdy. So stay tuned. We have 310 remaining. from the 11-yard line. Okay, they send two to the right, one to the left. Send off straight ahead. Mark Perry again with the carrier, trying to pick up Josh Jarvis' right guard. They stop him at about the 10-yard line. So no gain on the play, second and 10. He's going to run, and uh, the only time it's going to stop is at the two-minute warning. Tigers can play some good defense here. They won't be able to score unless they put one up in the air. Which they might do right now. Here you go wide right again. He's dropping back. He's looking, throwing over the middle. Wow, he had that guy over too. He was there. Take the hand off and the pass was intended for number one. Incomplete. Stop the contest. Incomplete. Third and ten after the incomplete pass. It's third and ten. They split. Wide left. He's dropping back. He's looking right. He's rolling out. Throwing in the end zone. Touchdown! Mark Bromley. The captain collaborated. Captain Ryan Donovan hooking up with Captain Mark Bromley. A woman pass on the scoring pass play. And he scores on the, uh, the rollout. So with 221. Remaining in the half, first half, the Scarlet Knights get on the board, 6-0.
Number 50, Brian Portress, Texas, tried the one-point conversion. Number 11, Chris Rowan, the holder. He's going to send everybody. Here they come. It's up. And it looks like it's good. The kick is good. And makes the score. North End over seven. Hold the phone. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Try the onside kick. Brian Portman set the kick off for the night. Tigers got 221 to uh, work with. See if they can get on the board here before they go in. The halftime here's the kick. And it's deep. Feel it. Coming straight up the middle. And runs into a wall. Run back up to the 18 yard line, first and 10 for the Tigers from their own 18 yard line. 212 remaining. That was something I never Two goals. I wonder if one right. They throw outside, they got him wide open. Good pass. Pass good for 12 yards, flag on the play. I don't know what that's about. A late flag came in there. Personal foul uh, on who? It appears to be against the Tigers. find a, a nice game and that's the two minute warning. With two minutes to go. Looked like a late hit there, but they didn't Number 41, Mark, I mean, Matt Bedard, stopped by number 41, Eric Fernandez. Timeout again called by the Tigers. The Tigers call a timeout to call play to stop the clock. They want to get the first down. See if they can stop the clock again. They might come up with a pass play. Motion. He's rolling this way. He's looking. He's rolling. You have somebody up in the middle. Call number 41. Matthew Bernard incomplete. This first down, so I think they're going to go. Third down and three. The way you live your life. Baby. Maybe he's going to pass it again. He's got somebody out in the flat. And they stop him. Tyler Canty. On the stop. They have no doing dirty way down here. I don't even know if anybody was covering him. So 1:29. I don't know if the Tigers are going to go for it. I don't think North Andover has any timeouts left, but um, I think the Tigers are going to go for it. That's where 
Frank comes out in a regular formation. Hand off to Bedard. He goes straight ahead. He's got the first down. Nice power. One man three. And the man done that eight 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 but they came out with um, number one one Matt Bedard. Two passing plays, but um, there's a timeout. With 104 remaining. First and first down. for the Tigers at their own 19 yard line. Well, let's call it the 29. Yep. Well, let's see if they um, go for that same passing play. Dylan Durden was wide open down the middle a couple plays ago. Coming this way, he's looking. He's got somebody open. It's in the air. It's picked off. Mark Crawford with a second interception of the ball game. With a change of possession, the clock stops. 42 seconds showing unofficially. And North Andover first and 10. That's a 33-yard line. So let's call it the 38. Tigers are going to have to really with a second interception of the ball game. Okay, three come wide right again. And he's looking to the right. He's being chased. He throws it, and it goes out of bounds. Ryan so Donovan, striking by a host of... But he gets the ball, and he throws it out of bounds. Throws an incomplete pass, second and ten. That's all. That's all. Knights are ready. He's dropping back. The ball's on the ground. Who's got it? The Tigers have it with 32 seconds remaining. Now this is the time to figure it out. The Tigers take over from their own 42-yard line. Let's get somebody deep with a little bit of speed here. Tigers pick up a big break here. They've got plenty of time to get on the board. They have... Several timeouts left. 87. Razin goes wide right. Motion. He's being chased. Throws the ball. Gary Ali coming in from his linebacker spot. And Carpenter is down on the ground. He was the quarterback, Matt Carpenter, the Somebody didn't pick up his ball. Somebody did not pick up this guy who was coming in, the defensive end. Well, you'll have to look at that one on the replay to find out whose responsibility that was. They left him out there to dry. Hand off straight ahead. The guard's still on the street. Timeout. He calls a timeout. Number 22 22 seconds remaining. And on the stop for the big game by number 21, Matt Bedard. Puts the ball right in the two seconds. The they line. still have plenty of time to get in the end zone. Nice little run there by Matt Bedard. Quick opener. So Coach Jack Walsh is talking with the troops over there, trying to get them fired up. Say, hey, we need a touchdown here before we go in the halftime. They haven't trailed anybody at halftime yet this year. So stay tuned. Time with 22 First and seconds. 10 for the Tigers at the 40 yard line. 22 seconds. Well, a couple of completions here and a nice little run and they could be in the end zone. Carpenter rolling, looking, throwing. He's got somebody down deep, and he overthrows everybody. Pass. Incomplete. Incomplete, and we have a second and ten. 17 seconds remaining. Second and ten. Oh, 
19 in motion, straight ahead to Bedard again, and they were waiting for that play. And they called a timeout. Two Crystals stayed home and made the stop. One yard gain. So with 11 seconds to go in the quarter, Tigers are trailing. And I don't know if this is their last timeout. They might have one more. Right, they called the play in the huddle uh, on the sideline. Still third and 10. The ball is on 40. Green goes wide right. He goes off the field. Straight ahead to Bedard again. And they call a timeout with six seconds to go. Mark Perry made the stop. First down. And Ipswich calls a timeout. Well, they didn't have to call a timeout if they got a first down because... That's the fifth and final timeout for the Tigers. They should have moved the chains. It should have been an automatic timeout. So they're going to come out and they're going to try to kick the field goal. So Workman is going to try to kick the field goal from the 35. It's going to be a 45-yard field goal. Maybe this could be a fake. Who knows? The officials are going back to see if uh, it clears it through. Now they do have a fake field goal in their plans here. Dustin Zabowski will hold it and he can also, he's the quarterback for the JV, so he might be able, they're gonna kick it. It's up, it looks like it may be, and it's good. get on the board with three so if they come out in the half and score a touchdown they can take the lead so as they head to the locker room we'll take a break and here come the Ipswich cheerleaders over to greet the North Andover cheerleaders and uh, they might do a cheer here so we're going to stay tuned and
Well, we can't hear the music very well, but the other cheerleaders, the Eastwood cheerleaders with their cheer. And they're greeted by the North Andover cheerleaders. North Andover will do a cheer. We had a little bit of an audio problem. Couldn't get their song over the speakers. comes on the field, we'll take a break right here. This is Dave Sinkin. Band's coming out to perform, so we'll listen to some of their music. And here they are. Graham is a cartoon kaleidoscope featuring title songs from the Flintstones, Dinosaurs, the Jetsons, and When You Wish Upon a Star. get something going here for the second half. Let's hope they're fired up. And here come the Scarlet Knights. Let's see, I think they're going to probably receive. We'll find out. They think they will kick off and North Andover will receive. North Andover will be the win. Call your attention to the 50-50 drawing. Would you please check your tickets for the 50-50 drawing? The winning number is 897-4484. 897 4484. Now the wind is picked up as you can see the flag over here. So the Tigers will be kicking off. To the Knights on this side. Okay, the Tigers workmen ready to boot it. Pretty good kick going over to the right side. 
He fumbled it. Did his knee touch the ground back there? And they nailed him. Now we're about the 12-yard line, so good pursuit by the Tigers. One back comes out to about the 12-yard line, where the Knights will set up first and 10. From here it's Fenway Park for you. Illegal right? block detected against the night. <laughs> Must have been something on the kickoff, so brings him all the way back to the five. And they stop him right in the middle there. Good defense by the Tigers. Not much. And on to number 11. He said the was coming out fired up. Got gain on the play. Let's call it second and a long eight. Sometimes if they get too aggressive like that, they can burn the secondary. Just watch the ball. Mm -hmm. And off coming around him. Stop for the 10. Shot gain on the play. Call it third and seven. You gotta get to the 16 yard line. For a first down. Third down. They send three out wide to the side again. And he's hitting the backfield. And they didn't fool anybody with that. And there was coverage down here. So this is going to force in the foot. So the Tigers should get real good field position out of this. So Green looking to return this punt. Get it. Get it inside the 30 anyway if he can. Guys are going back too deep. You don't want to rough the kicker here. It's a high snap. It. It's up. And they're going to let it bounce. And it takes a roll. Too bad they couldn't have fielded that ball. They were too far back to begin with, and somebody throws a flag way over there. Appears to be against the Tigers. Well, must have been some pushing and shoving after the play, and uh, they called it on the Tigers for some odd reason. Dead ball foul. Personal dead ball foul against the Tigers. The 15 yarder. That's not good. Because the receiver should have been up closer so they could have fielded that ball and at least got inside the 30. Now they pushed them back on their own 40 yard line. First and ten. Motion. Hand off to Bedard. He's got running room. Just to the outside. He's still on his feet. He could, he's got two guys to beat. And they take him down. And that's a late hit. There's the flag. Two the flag right there. His knee was down on the ground. He was out of bounds. And the second guy hit him. And uh, no flag, but uh, that's a tough kid. So just like that, the Tigers are back in this thing. Ball sitting right outside the 10 yard line. I think maybe they can get a first down without even scoring. 
get the ball to the one foot line. Motion right. He's rolling right. He's got the ball. He's keeping it. He's going to go all the way. He's in the air and he's in. So Carpenter goes airborne on the keeper. So um, that's going to make the Tiger fans over here happy in the field village. So as they line up, I think they are they... Number 19, Andy Workman, lining up the side. Okay, they shift into the formation. Chabelski, the holder, the ball's on the ground, the kick is up, and it's low. Oh, the little, no chip, good, right, little chip shot, and he missed it. The, score. the ball was Nine, low on seven. the ground, so Dustin had a tough time picking the ball up. So, the Tigers take the lead, though, 9-7. to seven, With 7-0-3 remaining. Third. The workman who hit a 45-yard field goal misses from uh, probably the 10-yard uh, the line, but it wasn't a very good snap to Dustin Jodowski, the holder, so he had to get that ball down, and he didn't get it down um, probably in the way that workman would have liked it, but had to get it up in the air higher, so workman ready to kick it off. He booms it. And it's down deep. Coming right up the middle, he's still on his feet. Right speed. And he's down all the way. So 13 to 9 with uh, 646 remaining in the third. We're going to kick it off. We got five guys up here. Four guys here. Two guys deep. Let's see if uh, the Tigers can work a little magic of their own here. There's a kick, it's a short one. Fumble the ball, and he downs it. There's plenty of time to clear that ball. And um, he was a little too anxious to get going before he had the ball, so it looked like they could have had a pretty good field position. And now there's a flag on the play, and the personal foul. 
helmet. Correction will follow against the Scarlet Knights. 15 yard penalty, we'll take it. That'll make up for that uh, fumble on the kickoff. Yeah, uh, penalty brings it out to the 36. Preliminary indication uh, look like uh, First and ten, ball's on a 35. He's coming to the side, no. Number 51, Jeff Pianadosi, first in from the night on the stop. Gain of three yards, second and seven. Hand off to Bedard again. Number up for the first down. 21. Matt Bedard slashing off right tackle. Picks up nine yards and a first down. Ball so spotted on the Ipswich 49 yard line. Tigers are trailing 13 to 9. But they're moving the ball. Dart again. Cuts to the outside. Got some running room. He's got one man to beat. And he's taken down. Uh, Touchdown saving tackle. That's a seven, seven yard line. line. So Bedard. Like I said, the Tigers got to pull a little magic here, and they are going to the running game. Hitting the hole and breaking First through. And goal from the seven. First and goal, ball's on the seven yard line. So as I said before, this game is not over by a long shot. Hand off to Bedard again. He's met and driven back, but he gets up to about the five yard line. Bedard again the carrier. Then in the hole by number 44, Tyler Campy. Second and five. We'll call it a three-yard game. Second and goal from the four. Okay, Workman's in for Bedard. Workman's got some power. I was following everybody. Hand off to Green. He gets down to about the two-yard line. Start shot of the goal line. Third and goal from the three. Tigers should be able to punch this one in. Let's call it third and goal from the two. We had a few substitutions coming in. Well, they got 63 lined up as a fullback. He's rolling right. Wants to cut to the corner. He's got one guy to beat, and he's in there. So Matt Carpenter. Quarterback Matt Carpenter on a deep hole on the right side just got in for the score. In there for the that touchdown. 15, Looked like he might not have made it or didn't have time enough to make it, but he got in the Tigers to take the lead. For the try. 13, so Workman ready to kick the extra point. Zabowski going to hold. The snap is high, the kick is up, and it looks like it could be good. Zabowski had to reach up in the air to grab that thing and pull it and down to the, the Tigers. 16-13. 16-13 with just under four minutes to go in the third. So stay tuned, folks. Well, to come here. Now, let's see uh, if uh, the Tigers can do this all over again and uh, have some better coverage this time. We'll keep an eye on where Workman, the kicker, goes after he kicks the ball. He ought to just hang back. 
everybody's got to stay wide and, and uh, cover their lanes. kick over again. He's getting a little bit greedy here. I think uh, the Tigers are going to make him pay for that decision. Takes the penalty and Rather than him to take the ball on the 40, they're going to make him kick over. So let's see if the Tigers After can a five hit him down penalty, deeper. They'll kick off from their own 35. Into their uh, own end. So, um, it's 35 now. Okay, let's do it all over again. There's a kick. It's a good kick. It bounces on about the 15-yard line, and, and he's out of bounds, and he got hit. He took a pop, and see, they didn't have the ball on the 27-yard line, whereas they would have had it on the 40. 27-yard line. Well, that's what happens when um, you get a little bit greedy here and you think you can run every every uh, kickoff back for a touchdown. So the Tigers caught a break, actually. First and 10, ball sitting on about the 25. He's coming right to the side and maybe pick up over two or three. Called the timeout, and I don't know what for reason, but they must have change of personnel out there. All right, let's do it again. He's looking, throwing over the middle. Oh, almost intercepted. Number 18, Carpenter, picked that one up. Broken up by number 18, Matt Carpenter. <laughs> Jeff Cruz back to punt for the Knights. Going to force the Knights to punt. Let's see if they can get a good run, return it. Oh, they, they blocked it. And it's Tiger ball. Nice job by the Tigers. I don't, know, I don't know who got in there to block it, but um, they did a nice job. Number 41. He was hit immediately by number 50, Lang and Portrait. They said 41, Bedard. Is that the one who um, blocked it? Come shooting in there. Probably took it right in the chest or off the hands. 
for the Tigers from the North End over 32. So the Tigers got a good opportunity to put seven more on the board here. They hand off to Bedard, he's cutting outside, and... The shot, call it by number 44, Tyler Candy. Pick up a maybe four. Three yard pick up, second and seven. Second and seven, pick up a three. Motion. And that's the Number 41, Eric Fernandez, slashing in, making a stop in the Tiger backfield. There's a loss on the play. 20, Let's call it a two-yard loss, third and nine. 24 was Eric, Eric Green. Well, they're going to have to roll this side, I think, and maybe try to throw the ball. And they do the inside reverse. He's still in the street, cuts to the outside. Not enough for the first down. Bob Perry slash again from his cornerback spot. Made so the play. One and minute to go. Five. to go in the period. We're going to go for it, I believe. Carpenter, they're going to do the inside reverse again. This time Green carrying the ball, and he's met and taken down, and it goes nowhere. Number 59, North Andover takes over and down. So North Andover stops the Tigers. The Tigers had a good scoring opportunity. They had to win at their backs. For the night, from their own line. I don't think they put the ball up once in that series of downs. And in the fourth quarter, they're going to be going against the wind. So now there's a ball up in the air, and it, oh, could have been intercepted. But it uh, was knocked away by Dylan Durning. Probably should have caught it. Durning. Number 13, Dylan Durning. Number 13, Dylan Durning. Number 13, Dylan was thinking, knock it down, but I think he could have caught that ball. And that's what Russ Green was saying. Got a chance to intercept it. Intercept it. And there's somebody down on the field over there. So we'll take a break. This is ACP Sports coming to you from Hayes Stadium here in North Andover. Ryan Donovan, the player heard on the play. Seems to be okay. And the player is up. He's coming off the field. Number 13, Will Utley, a sophomore. We'll come in and quarterback the Scarlet Knights. 29 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Tigers are up. 16-13. Motion, they give it to the guy right up the middle. Will Utley, getting on up to the 32 yard line. Mark Perry, inside. Ryan Donovan back after the one play rest. And that's the end of the third quarter. On that play, the third period ended. When play resumes in the fourth period, it'll be third and five. Just set up on the other end.
to go in the fourth quarter. Motion to this side. Straight ahead. Three yard pick up. Good up fake, the though. Inside by number 41, Matthew Haddad. Call it second and seven, along seven. Pick up of two, second and eight. All right, this time Green has it, trying to go to the outside, down the sideline, and out of bounds at about the 32-yard line. Picked up Grigatic, thought to stand over 33-yard line. And there's a timeout on the field. And uh, we'll take a break right here. This is ACP Sports coming to you from North Ender. Okay. First and ten. Tigers straight ahead to go back to the running game. Number 41. Maybe a couple yards. Fernandez. The ball carrier. The guy's been the workforce tonight. Gain of about a yard. Let's call it second and nine. We haven't seen too much of uh, Workman. I think Workman still has some sort of an injury. And uh, Green has been doing most of the running to the outside of the moment by right Dallas. First down to keep this drive alive. You give it to Green, he cuts over tackle, but he Number 24, comes up short. Russell Green, the carrier. He cut inside, he might have been better off the outside. after a gain of about a yard, fourth and two. I think we give it to somebody who run those speedsters and let them come to this wide side. Jason Gabriel in on the defensive set for the Knights. Might be a good time for that option coming this way. With the pitch to Green. Or by Kelly. Straight ahead. Quick hit around the middle. Number 41. Matt 
looked right. Motion. Illegal and moving. The Tigers. After the five yard penalty, it'll be first and 15 from the 23. Back five, first and 15. Oh, they pitch it to him. He rounds the corner, still on his feet. In there. Yeah. On the pitch. Russell Green, just like that. Cuts back inside. Heads right up through and in for six. Takes the score of 22 to 13. So Zabowski comes out. Workman to the work. They shift into it. Snap. Kick is up. Looks like it's good. Try is good. Oh. The Tigers take the lead, 23, or continue to take the lead, add to the lead. Twenty-three, thirteen, with 6.37 remaining in the game. Okay, let's see how well they do on the coverage on this kickoff now. The last time, or the time before last, they scored, then they kicked off, and then North Hamburg scored. And they kick a squidward down, and it bounces around, and they got him pinned in over here in the corner, and they drive him out of bounds. So that's the way to do it. Force him to the sideline. Number 22, Chris Finn, returns the kickoff out to about the 28-yard line. First and 10 for the night. 44 comes to the side. Two go wide right. Hand off, straight ahead, and no place to go there. Chris Perry on a quick hitter. No game, second and ten. Third and eight. North Andover needs a touchdown and a field goal for two safeties to take the lead. And I don't know if they're going to get the two safeties, but they might get a touchdown. They can hit some of these guys open. He's dropping back. He's looking. He's throwing deep. He's got somebody and... Touchdown. 87 turned around. A little sooner, he might be able to intercept that ball, but he was with him the whole time. Third and ten after the incomplete pass. They're going to try to just isolate number 12. Workman comes in. Number 12 comes out. 80. 86 from the sign. He's dropping back. He's looking. He set up the screen on the other side and overthrows everybody. In the flat from number 43, Mark Perry, incomplete. Fourth and ten. Fourth and ten, and I think they're going to have to turn it away. A little bit wide, he kicks it away, and Green, or close to the third hit, right on the 50 yard line. Right at midfield, first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball, 
say the Tigers get the ball right on the 50. Nose of the ball, just about touching it. They give it to Green, trying to get outside. He almost gets tackled in the backfield, and he does lose it. So it's 5:22 in the game. North Andover calls another call. Another call by the Knights. Oh, I don't know. Jeff Bianadosi first in on the hit. A few more mistakes like that. They'll have to send you to Toronto first before you can make it to the Fenway Park. Motion to this side, he pitches, he breaks through, runs right over one of his own Number players. 18, a pitch of Andy Workman. Runs right over 52. Picks up Andy Workman yards. picks up Third one. Picks up about 10 yards. It's going to be third in the yard and a half. That's it. What's going on over here? Masco, there's a little bit of a commotion down in the stands here. Masco and some Masco students um, over here, and I guess uh, some of the North Andover students are giving them a little bit of a business. Right through the middle. We got, we got some fans. We got some fans over here. Getting a little unruly. At the well, it has nothing to do with the Ipswich fans, I'll tell you that. They're on the other side. They pitch it back to Green. He loses his footing, but cuts back inside. So sometimes Green has to go to the outside, I think, on that play. Hey, what's the game, will you? Time out. Time out. Time out. Start the clock with 4.13. Well, you know, the end of a two minutes, I don't know what to share about now, but... Another pitch back, but he's caught in the backfield and he gets loose and dropped in the backfield by a host of North Andover tacklers. Well, they may have to abandon that. Again, the nice pitch. call timeout. So another timeout on the field and we'll take it back. 403 remaining. Third and 12. I think they might have to air it out here. Carpenter rolling. It's a straight keeper. He's still on his feet. What a running back this kid's turn up. Number 22. He had no intention of throwing that ball. That's just a straight keeper. He's got pretty good speed. 13 yard pickup by so Carpenter. Wants to, uh, he's making a bid to uh, make Matt it to the highlight film. Remember, you can see these games on Media One. Channel 3 or Channel 9. ACP Productions. Tigers are hoping to take their third law, third win. Straight ahead. So the Tigers saved the best for last. Kicking teams on. Kick is up. Thirty to the 
13, the Tigers. So whatever they said to these guys in the locker room at halftime worked. Because they come out here with a vengeance and um, put 27 points up on the board. He only had three during the end of halftime. It was seven to three. North Andover. Maybe the coaches said, listen, we're not going to stop at the DQ on the way back if you guys don't win this game. Well, this is a good way for the Tigers to start the season. But they still have some work to do to uh, shore up their defense and kick off return. Let's see how they do on this one. off to the side and it's going out of bounds again. Now let's see if the coach wants well, to get back to the end by not the end of the four went out of bounds. So it's first and ten for the night. At their own 18 yard line. Did on the 18? Wow, that's a surprise. I thought if the ball went out of bounds, you took it on the 40 or make him kick over. Now I understand why they made him kick over the last time, well, because the ball went out on the for the night. Sorry about that, sports fans. I'll have to read, up, read the rules up a little bit closer next time. Oh, yeah. 